finality on the melody. Today I want to talk about tips for songwriting. I always say that poetry was my first love. And I love Lana Del Rey because she's a true poet. Once in a while, I'll start kind of with the title. But it's not so much about what the title is. It's more about the theme. You got to kind of come up with the theme, right? It does help to have some type of music to go along with. But you don't really need it. Because poetry, and the reason why I always vouch for poetry, poetry has a rhythm to it with no music. So once you learn how to kind of gain a rhythm, which you can change throughout your writing, the rhythm doesn't have to be the same. You know, there's stanzas and poetry. Usually it's like a four bar stanza, generally in music too. In music is a lot of fours in Western music. One, two, three, four, repeat. And beats are made like that. Repeat. After four, four times, that's when even DJs, they'll come in on one of those after the four, four times. <laughs> that makes sense. But anyway, back to fours. It is probably easiest to write in fours, but everything goes back to the timing at the end. I want an apple. Boom. I got to have it. Boom. I shine bedazzle. So give me my apple. I don't know. I'm just making random shit up. All the time I do it throughout the day. You could practice throughout the day. That was a goal of mine. Like, even if I'm not writing and sitting down, writing and focusing, even when I'm joking around, I come up with these rhymes. You know, you say things that fit. Boom, boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 ba -dum, boom. The words are not going to be the same, but they kind of fit in, right? You decide how you want it to rhyme. Sometimes when I'm doing the four lines, the first two will rhyme, and then the second two will rhyme, and it'll make the fourth. Or the first and the third will rhyme, or the second and the fourth line will rhyme. Do it like that. Usually for a chorus, it's eight, four, and then four. You kind of find a rhythm. You got to count. You can write, but then when you go back and edit, you make, you make sense of it, you know? Okay, so sometimes I wrote what I wanted to say, but it's too many syllables. So I'll rephrase that using slightly different words, but I'm saying the same thing, except now it just matches in with the same amount of syllables as the last thing. There is, there has to be editing and proofing. You know, you have to get past, okay, I'm just gonna write this once. And it's gonna be exactly like, like I wrote it. No, you go through it and you sift through and you edit and you proof. And that's how you write well. When I first started writing music, I would kind of just say the next thing that came to my mind. Okay, it rhymes. I thought it. Let's write it down. I stopped doing that. I stopped doing that. And now what I do is, you know, say I did the rhyme on the first and I'm ready to rhyme on the third. Got a good second line. The third line, I'm trying to think of a rhyme. I'll think of one thing that rhymes, doesn't really go that well. If I'm really stuck, I'll go to rhymezone.com and I will either just get inspiration for a rhyming word or, you know, actually see a word and be like, oh, that fits. And I come out with a line that fits the word. It helps a lot, you know? The more you do that, the less you will have to do that, but it expands the vocabulary and it doesn't stunt your flow. You could still be in the moment and feel what you're feeling by using that tool. If you get stuck on one line because you can't find a rhyme word, you could mess up the rest of the song for yourself. Try to avoid that. Use rhyme though. It helps. It helps a lot. So just to recap, my first tip was coming up with the theme for the song, a general theme, not necessarily the title, but a theme. And my second tip is making sure that the amount of syllables match in the lines. My third piece of advice was using something like rhymezone.com to easily get rhymes, like what rhymes with word? Third. Okay, that's the first thing that comes to my mind, but maybe bird doesn't fit 
in the story. So I go to Rhyme Zone if I can't think of anything else and I'll get inspiration for a rhyming word that fits and makes sense with the piece. Those are my three tips for today. Off the top of my head, I believe in poetry, love poetry, study poetry, go back to the main basic, the art. Poetry is the core and where the heart is for writing when it comes to music and rhythmic writing. I much prefer poetry, short writing, articles, blogs, creative writing, reviews. Those are all things that I do. If you're looking to get your song reviewed, I do that. I'm also an expert in the food and beverage industry. I do restaurant reviews. I know all about dining, the points of service. I do restaurant reviews. I do song reviews. I understand songs and I, I give good feedback and I have the right vocabulary. I have an extensive vocabulary to really come up with a nice response and review to your song. So if you're looking for a song review, I would love to have it on my site. You can definitely inquire about that on my website in the booking section. And you can look through my song reviews in the blog section.